here doing this. I, I, this is this is not a normal function for me, but let's get into it. Let's talk about what you guys saw. Uh, do you guys want to start first? Sure, sure. Uh, we saw The Conjuring. Okay. The mm -hmm. Conjuring. What'd you think, Kim? And you saw it too, right? And this yep. is just, I have not seen it okay. yet. This is new in the theater this week or last week? Last week. I want to say maybe even two weeks ago. Was it? Okay. It, it's, it, we saw it last week. Was it last week? Had it week been we saw out it? for a week? About a week and a half ago, we saw it. Anywho, but you guys, yeah, you yeah, guys ran down to Boise to and it. didn't do any, yeah. right, any mm. movie watching. So, yeah, um, no, did see the I thought it was really enjoyable. Um, I think Lewis liked it more than I did. I did. But I thought it was really good. They they used atmosphere um, instead of uh, like gore and, and a lot of violence. So you mm. were it was like this environment of. of like fear and like what's gonna happen and this is really creepy and then I'm really scared but it was good it was very good mm -hmm. and the acting was great and based on a true great. story correct true. yes we've got true story oh yes. I love that because you know I don't believe yeah. in any of that stuff sure. but I love you know just the thought just, oh, just the so thought of it fun. puts it's it into so your brain fun. you're like well <laughs> and it, they, they took they went the extra mile and the credits um, they're showing they're comparing the actors yes. to the actual it people it was really they cool. show yeah. the actual newspaper clippings mm -hmm. etc so it you know it, it's obviously loosely based on a true story but it adds more and more merit and the more merit it adds absolutely the absolutely and the I ideas. hope that I hope it freaks people out you know I I really liked it I'd say it's probably in my top three so far for the year um and one of the reasons i liked it is what kim said james wan who uh, mm -hmm. directed it he you'll remember he's the guy that did saw the original okay. saw movie apparently this is you're we're looking at the real yeah like the actual house the actual stuff. house from the so real story james wan got this kind of reputation after saw for doing blood and guts and gore and relying on gore kind of like hostile type movies yeah um and so he said I'm going to prove that I can make a scary movie with hardly any blood or guts. And there's yeah, very little. See, that's great. And it's it's a creepy movie. Yeah. I mean, it's a, I think creep is good. But that's yeah. what I I'd much rather watch a really creepy movie mm -hmm. uh, than a movie where just people get killed torture every 3 porn. minutes yeah. and I don't care about any of yeah. them. Well, yeah, and I, that's exactly it. On those torture porn ones, I get into it, and I see just, like, the most randomly god-awful yeah. things. I'm like, okay, I could care less about this right. now. I am grossed out, and I just want to go home now. Yeah. And I really kind of want my mom. I think I would piss myself a little bit. So thanks for that. Now I'm not going <laughs> to sleep for four weeks. Assholes. Well, we're looking at the picture right now, and what was really cool, Lewis and I were talking about how oh, usually God. you see scary movies and they have either a couple or they have a couple with a child or two children. They don't right. have five daughters, and that made the story really cool. Like yeah, we thought, okay, so and they, all five daughters are so unique, mm -hmm. and the actors, the and actresses that moment. did it, uh, the, the parts were just really cool. They did a great job. Yeah. It, it definitely is unlike... For me, it's unlike other movies. I mean, it's not The Exorcist, and it's not Amityville Horror, although you can kind of get a sense of some of those other films. But like Kim says, with five daughters, typical screenwriters will shy away from a huge family mm -hmm. like that. It's yeah, just too it hard to too tell much them apart. Too much to do, yeah. And so uh, they, do, they do a great job, yeah. of, for me, of keeping it creepy. And what I loved most is the ghost hunters. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. They... Well, I love how brave they are. Well, and it, they add a degree of, um, like, y you actually, the way they uh, talk about it, you, you learn a lot as far as, they aren't the stereotypical, like, you know, badass ghost hunters who just come <laughs> in, they're like, no, and they just have this attitude. They're actually, like, these loving people who like to help people, uh -huh. and uh, you see them in the classroom and talking about it. And you know, if, if you were into this sort of stuff, they're, they're almost like the type of people you'd want to yeah. get in contact mm -hmm. with. Absolutely, like she does, Lily Taylor, the mom. Yeah. Oh, the mom and, was oh, so good. Oh, that actress she was, was great. No, that's uh, very so that, familiar. Yeah. She's Damn great it. too. But yeah. those were the two. If you the go couple. up a bit, yeah, the guest hunters. That one with the match. This guy? The match. Yeah, yeah that's she, the mom. I thought she did a really good yes. job. What's her name? Oh, Lily Taylor. Yes. And we we talk about as far as the creep and the atmosphere, and it's obviously terrific in this movie. I mean, even the the to increase the suspense, the the, the techniques that they, they use mm -hmm. was were awesome, and they weren't over the top. But that's I, the I loved. 
That's that's James Wan. Oh, okay. Uh, I love the fact that um, there were a few scare parts, and it, what's wonderful is you you never know when to expect it. Just like mm-hmm. a well made creep movie, mm-hmm. as far as mm-hmm. they knew when to throw it at you, like just <laughs> or throw it at you is like when you let your guard down. It seemed like he he that's when he threw something at you, and you know you got the most jumps. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what: if you're gonna make a, a horror film. Uh-huh. I, I would suggest you watch this film very closely for how to make a scary film on a very, very low budget. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of, like this scene where she's holding the match, anyone could film that, right? Like yeah. a scary basement, a scary cellar. You could probably do it down cellar, here. Yeah. Right? Like anyone can find the. the mm-hmm. And just you know where she's moving through the house and she hears a noise here and then she moves a little further and then a door closes that shouldn't be closing yeah like anyone could film that right but it works well i think something to compare it to that lewis and i were a little bit uh, less happy with was the ethan hawk film which one was that oh, yeah. sinister. Oh, sinister sinister um what sinister does Par- that i think is kind of to its detriment is it's too dark I he heard never it turns on a fucking light hmm. and she turns on lights and looks for things and she's so <laughs> brave and it's so real and i think sinister was trying to to do something more than it needed to it should have just been more simple is that a person on the ceiling yeah she's, yeah. she's floating because but, the demons but i like that because spinning the her around word. Lily Taylor's looking around the house and she walks through every room and turns on the light looking for this noise that she's hearing. And it's right. very don't good. Don't you hate horror films when they don't turn on? You're just like, turn on the light! So yeah, turn yeah. on the fucking light! <laughs> yeah. the, w- the way they're reacting to the scary things that are happening mm-hmm. are is very natural. Mm-hmm. As far as, th- there's never been a point in that in this movie where I rolled my eyes. Like, wow. they, I, mm-hmm. I was actually amazed. Which is pretty, pretty yeah. amazing, yeah. I was just gonna say. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, so you enjoyed it too then, Tom? No, yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed it. it and like they said i i'm glad they didn't have to go to blood and guts or any of the stereotypical i mean it almost feels like a tradi- traditional mm-hmm. horror movie oh, yeah. but it was it's still you know still fresh that's what's surprising yep. to me is it still feels fresh even though they don't you know i mean you're not gonna that's not any, you're that's not gonna have any thinking. huge surprise where I don't know. I, like I said, it felt like Exorcist meets Amityville Horror meets this movie meets that movie. Mm. But for some reason, it all came together pretty effectively for yeah. me. And I probably liked it more than everyone else because, uh, I mean, I liked it a lot. Mm. But I think I liked it a lot because I felt like at no point was he treating me like an idiot. And at no point was he saying, I'm going to get a cheap thrill here. Get you. Yeah. You know, the, they, they really shy away from the bah! oh it's just my mom who you know yeah, I yeah, heard yeah. noise. Like when there's something scary everything's it's real. It's for, scary. It's for a reason. And, uh, it, what's really nice also about the movie is it's not all in this house. It's not all in this oh, house. Yeah. It actually it looks at the ghost hunters family. It mm-hmm. goes to the school and some of the investigations that they've done. Mm-hmm. So you're getting more of an outside look as far as the way they've dealt with paranormal investigations before, right, and that, that you can use that in a comparison to how severe like this current haunting is, mm-hmm. and like you know you can tell a difference that this is a really really bad thing <coughs> considering what's happening compared to their past cases but uh, and it's really entertaining to watch their past cases to be honest <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> like when they're talking about the, it the like the opening sequence yeah. yeah now do we have a psychological reason why everybody's freaked out by a fucking old creepy doll why why are they so goddamn f- creepy because well, I'm creeped out by every doll I come across. To be honest, though... Especially if they're older than, like, 10 years old. Poltergeist. Yeah. Uh, theory... I mean, because the clowns weren't scary back in the day, but now everyone's terrified mm-hmm. of clowns because Hollywood's kind of take advantage of that fear. Well, it. Oh. Go back and look at it. Watch just yeah. the first five minutes. When that clown is down in the sewer going, hey, you want to come down here and play with me? <laughs> It's not that clowns are scary, and it's not that sewers are scary, but a clown in a sewer shouldn't be there, right? <laughs> well, yeah, and, it's it's, and right a clown place. going, hey, you want to come down here? Like, his voice hey, is boy, unnerving. Come here. Yeah. There's balloons down here. Yeah. And you're like, oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it's the same thing. Dolls, 
Well, d- dolls can't have any expression other than the one they have, so that's really creepy because we read faces for emotion. That's right, true. And so we get really mm-hmm. freaked out, too. And isn't also uh, something that's that would great. normally be innocent? <laughs> like, innocence. It's innocent. It's something that children are supposed to deal with. Yeah. It's also not supposed to be moving on its own, so anytime you have yeah. a doll turn its head or be in a different place in, than where it was left... Or a noise from a room, you go in, there's just the doll. Oh, that, he did such a good job with that doll scene at the beginning. <laughs> he did. It the was doll so scene good. at the beginning was, it was so scary good. as shit. Mm-hmm. And you know what? There's actually a scene, this won't spoil anything, where the ghost hunters go to a fa- they're called in by a family, they go up into the basement, and mm. they're looking around for some kind of a scary monster thing. And then uh, the, the main ghost hunter guy goes, Oh, it's just the pipes. It's just pipes. You don't have a ghost. It's yeah. just there's it's they're creaking. It's just pipes. And I love that because it's not all scary monsters the whole time. Like sometimes it's just not it's just the pipes. Sometimes it's nothing. Yeah, and, yeah, and he even explains that most of the time it is yeah. mm-hmm. uh, uh, something with the house like, you know, the architecture or sure. the pipes something or something. which makes you or... feel like they're legitimate, uh-huh. real and they actually it makes do it know feel when even there's more real. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. 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 I definitely definitely recommend this movie. I mean, yeah. see it in theaters awesome. if you can. For sure. Awesome. Yeah. 